Now, cough suppressants, ugh. Have you ever had someone in your house have a hacking cough and you're trying to sleep and all you can hear is them coughing? Well, I'm gonna talk about what that means. I know when I teach in nursing school and we're proctoring exams and somebody in the room has a cough, I worry about their safety because the students just kind of give them the stare of death when they keep coughing during a test. But you know how it is when you have a cough. The more you try to not cough, it more they seem you need to cough. But let's talk about some over-the-counter treatments. Anti-tussive means anti-against tussive cough. So these are cough suppressants that are available. Dextromethorphan, now it doesn't have any opioid content. It's a non-opioid cough suppressant. It's available over the counter. It's an opioid derivative, but you don't really have the euphoric effect if you take it in a normal dosage. Now, some of you probably already know that this is a drug that can be um, abused, that particularly in our teenage population, they will drink large quantities of this. And when they drink this cough medicine, they end up like on a PCP-like dissociative mind trip. So this one is another drug that is at risk for abuse. It's available. You usually don't have to show your ID to purchase it. And so if it's abused, you can end up with this PCP-like experience. Now, dextromethorphan is in lots and lots of over-the-counter cold medicines that are combinations. So you always wanna be careful when you or a family member or your patients are combining multiple cold medicines because they can overdose on things like Tylenol or dextromethorphan. Now, it is a pretty good uh, antitussive. I know when I have a cold, I use it, but you wanna keep in mind, take it within normal doses and don't take multiple over-the-counter cold medicines because you're risking overdosing on that. Now, the next group does involve opioids. Remember, dextromethorphan is opioid derivative, but it doesn't have that euphoria if you take it in an appropriate amount. Prescription antitussives contain codeine, and this is more effective than dextromethorphan, but you have to have a script for it. You'd have to have a healthcare provider write the prescription for you. It is one-tenth the dose that we use for pain in codeine, so you would have to really drink a lot of it to get a super high buzz, but it is very effective in treating your cough. So when it comes to cough, you have an over-the-counter option and you have a prescription option. Both of them are either an opioid derivative or an actual opioid. But remember, it's in a much smaller dosage than we would use for pain control.